Hello, let's look at COPD exacerbation and the treatment with corticosteroids. Because I dealt with antibiotics in another video, that was a very long video. This will be a very short video because I will concentrate only on corticosteroids. And it will actually only be really high yield. So not about the molecule itself, the steroid molecule or the side effects and so on. That will be dealt in another video. So let's look at COPD exacerbation treatment with corticosteroids. So the treatment what we can give is inhaled Saba-Sama. That is not corticosteroids. These are short-acting beta agonists and short-acting muscarinic antagonists. Let's look at the uh, a video about stable treatment and, and then you will find out about Saba and Sama. In this video we will concentrate on the second point here, oral prednisone, which is a corticosteroid, for about, uh, we use uh, that for about five days and we have 40 milligram, for example. We can use 30 milligram, 40 milligram, 50, 60 milligram. So uh, 30 to 60 milligram of prednisone is, is, is possible. But I, I, I usually give 40 milligram fix for five days. And antibiotics can be given, and that is dealt with in other videos, antibiotics for patients with increased difficulty breathing, sp uh, dyspnea, and sputum volume is increased. So uh, the thing that comes out from your mouth is increased, and the purulence of it. So it's, it's yellowish. And that, uh, in that case, we need antibiotics. Okay? And these, these three treatments can be given at home, in, in home treatment, or in the hospital. And the decision of whether the patients to, should stay in the hospital or not, uh, you have to check the video about antibiotics. And there you, there you will find it. So the video is called COPD exacerbation, the treatment with antibiotics. And there I will explain uh, how you decide if the patient stays home or if the patient have to be in the hospital and be treated in the hospital. And inhaled Saba-Sama, that will be dealt in the stable video. Here, uh, there is an island and rice. Why? Because Saba is an island. It's called Saba. And rice, uh, this rice type is called Sama. And therefore, it's easy to memorize these things that when we have an exacerbation, the patient does not get any air, have difficulty breathing, then please go to the island. Let's say you are in deep sea, you are deep water, you, have, you, you are a COPD patient and you are in deep sea, you don't get any air. Let's go and swim to the island and that will rescue you. So Saba is a rescue treatment and that is something that you spray, short acting beta agonist that you spray in your mouth and then you inhale that and then you will get the release, it's a rescue one. And on the island, you will get rice. And please, you should get both of these. So on the island, you should get rice. Don't use Saba alone or don't use Sama alone. These two work the best when they are combined, especially in exacerbation. Good. And one example of Saba and Sama each. Let's look at the uh, other video about the stable treatment. There you will find many more examples. I will give here one example. We have Saba like albuterol. You spray four to eight times every hour, if necessary, of course. If, if it's not, not necessary, then you don't have to do it. And Sama, that is ipratropium also, you can spray four to eight sprays, inhalations, with this MDI, so meter dose inhaler, every four hour. So Saba every one hour, four to eight inhalations. Sama, ipratropium, four to eight times every four hours, okay? That is, and this is how the device can look like. They have different shape, different name, different company names and so on. Albuterol, ipratropium. Please remember, it's uh, these are both in a meter the dose inhaler. And meter the dose inhaler is, is uh, this one, what I have in the picture here. The treatment that we give next to this, so we gave this rescue, you, we rescued the a guy on the island. Then on the island, he will not only get rice, he will get muscle, he will train. No, the muscle is there for you to remember steroids, so corticosteroids, prednisone. So you are in deep water, you're swimming to the island, you're getting a rise, and then you start to train. This is the visual picture you have of, of a patient with COPD exacerbation. And then you, if you know these three pictures, then you know the island, which is Saba, then you know the rice, which is Sama, and then you know the muscle, which is the steroid, and we have prednisone, 40 milligram for five days. 
40 milligram each day for five days. Is it ne necessary, do you think, to taper this prednisone after five days? What does this mean? Can we stop the medication abruptly after these five days? Or do we have to reduce the dose? Let's say it was 40, then we decrease it to 30, then we decrease it to 20 each day. Or can we stop it abruptly? Many people think that steroid must be tapered. It's not true, okay? Only if you're having steroid treatment for a very long time, chronically, because then you have a lot of side effects and it can affect your adrenal glands if you stop the steroid treatment too abruptly. So steroid should only be tapered down after you have given at least three, four weeks of steroid treatment. But here, in this case, we're only giving it five days. We don't want so many side effects. And actually, it has been seen that it will actually not help if we give more. We, some studies have shown, yeah, you can give it for two weeks. And some studies have shown five days. And it has been seen that five days and two weeks was so similar in results that they, the, the scientists decided that why should we give something that have a lot of side effects? Steroids have side effects. Why should we give it for two weeks when five days is enough? And therefore, we give it only for five days. Good. Steroids of the five days, as you see, this sign that I have there of the five days, it says that it's stopped and you can stop it uh, immediately. You don't, you don't have to give anything the sixth day or the seventh day. You don't have to taper it down. The antibiotics that will be in, dealt in another video, as we said, you remember that the patient is having difficulty breathing. Then this medication, antibiotic, will be a shield from any bacteria moving to this patient. So antibiotics is there in between the patient who already has a lot of difficulty breathing. We don't want any more uh, bacteria here or viruses, uh, especially bacteria because antibiotics will help against bacteria, not viruses. So antibiotics will be dealt in another video. Please look at it. It's very useful. So here, in this case, we have a COPD exacerbation, a patient who has difficulty breathing, as you see in the middle one. He is at home or he can be treated in the hospital. And uh, we can now, in the left side, as you see, we can give this island, which is Saba, or the rice, which is Sama. He gets a rice. On, and then he will do an exercise on the right side, which is the steroid, which is prednisone, 40 milligram for five days and down there you have the antibiotics that could be a shield against any type of uh, infections that was it so it's a very quick review if you want more information then you have wikipedia or google or youtube but i would uh, i will make presentations about the specific medications uh, as i go with time because i have a lot of videos to make in my pipeline so about steroids, the molecules themselves, that is not prior to us at the moment. So please check that out if you're interested in corticosteroids. Good. So once again, a quick revi re revision. The treatment that we give in C COPD exacerbation are inhaled Saba and Sama, oral prednisone 40 milligrams for five days, and antibiotics for patients who have difficulty breathing and they have a lot of purulence, a lot of sputum coming up, and it's uh, yellowish. So inhale Saba Sama, remember the island, you got the rights there. Remember that you have two, uh, one example of Saba being albuterol. You take four to eight inhalations every hour with this meter dose inhaler. Or Sama can be an ipratropium, four to eight inhalations with this MDI, the meter dose inhaler, every four hours. Remember this. After this, after you have done this, this is the first rescue treatment. Then you do the oral prednisone, which is 40 milligram for five days. We don't need to taper it down. So steroids should only be tapered down when we give it chronically for more than three weeks. So please stop it after five days. And then antibiotics is important because we will have a shield against any type of bacteria. And these are the three main uh, treatments that we have. And of course, of course, oxygen will be important in the hospital especially. So we tried Saba-Sama, we tried the steroid, then we gave antibiotics for not getting any infections. And of course, when the patient have a low, low oxygen level, he will get oxygen level into his nose. And if it's very, very severe, this is what I'm talked about in another video about uh, antibiotics treating the COPD exacerbation. There I dealt with the invasive ventilation also that is done in the hospital. So non-invasive ventilation and invasive ventilation with intubation. Please check that video also out. And uh, I wish you a very nice day and have, uh, have a really nice one.
बाय बाय